Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I started in the front, so I didn't really um, get like too much of whatever was going on in the back. I know there was a couple cautions, but um, I knew that you know if I just did what I had to do on the restarts and uh, hit my marks and all that, then it would be good. Um, I wanted to win really bad. We've been struggling for probably like a month and a half, um, and it's been really, really tough for us. So um, to turn it around like this and to have to fight for it, no less, is um, something that makes me really happy and uh, it makes my family and everyone who helps me really happy too so um, we actually did a lot of stuff to the car this week and even a lot of stuff at the racetrack and uh, it was just crazy from the second we got here so this is um, definitely really sweet um, just have to thank everyone who helps me out Broadbrook Brewing, Safeco Foam, the Lift Guys, Schaefer's Racing Oil, Williams Race Gears, Whip Sporting Goods, New England Gear Polishing, um, everyone who helps us, uh, my whole family, my dad, my car owner Amadeo, Dave Zabore, Dave Ferris, um, Bob, my cousin, my brother, um, it's a, it's a lot of people. Eric, he uh, just came on. I think this is his first win with me. Uh, Tom won a couple weeks ago, so he beat me to it. But yeah, um, this is really, really uh, special for us. So hopefully we can come back and make the car better for next week because I have a few ideas. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I, I saw her, she was getting loose and uh, my car came in by lap 10. So I had a, a good car at the end. And I get, think a few more laps I probably could have got around her. Um, I, I know uh, where she was weak on the track and where I could would jeopardize and try to get by her, but um, I'll take a second place to finish. Finished 10th last week, so that's a big rebound. Um, got decent points tonight, I think four points. Um, and uh, what uh, I can't thank all my crew enough, my dad, my aunt, my uncle, my grandfather, my buddy Scott, my girlfriend Caitlin, my sister watching at was watching at home. So, uh, And I can't do it without my sponsors, LNS Equipment, Aspen Hill Farm, Riley Generators, Bobcat of Connecticut, Ranko Collision Repair, um, LNS Equipment, um, McConey Setup Shop, uh, CT ceramic coatings um, is uh, great to get a podium on a hot night like this. Just to, we know the car is good uh, even when it's hot. So uh, as long as the car is good, when it starts to get cold, we'll be all right, and uh, we'll try to keep in these podiums and try to improve and get the win. It was crazy. Cars going everywhere. People sideways. People in the grass. Uh, my entire plan was just to keep it steady and play the long game because I know people do their thing, and I'll get right back up there. Cars consistent enough, and it'll hold its line. I think I can. Definitely think I can. After the week I won, the car was having a hiccup. We figured it out. Some setup issues we had, and we got it back to where it needed to be. Yeah, we, uh, we, we've been struggling for the past three or four weeks. Um, found a bunch of stuff wrong with the car, and the uh, car's been on rails. It was, it was great right off the trailer. You know, three is, is awesome. I, I, I just wanted one this year. So to walk away, even if the season ended now when we had three, it's it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Definitely a good night. This is uh, great for us. I mean, after last week, finishing 20th, barely making it lap two. This is great. Uh, I know the car's got the speed. Man, we just really need the luck, like I keep saying all uh, all season long so far. Uh, we'll keep digging. Yeah, we were having a pretty decent battle there. Uh, I was getting a little loose as the race went on and uh, just didn't have quite enough to get them. I mean, if I wanted to get up and wreck them, maybe I could have, but that's not the way to do it. So. Uh, I'm happy with the third place podium finish, um, and we'll come back next week and give it a shot again. Yeah, I mean, uh, thing was on rails tonight. It's been good all season, and, uh, you know, tonight just showed, uh, you know, we didn't really drop off. I, I guess that's what they were saying on the radio compared to some of the others, and we were able to make it work tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's funny. After he won the big wheel race, he goes, hey, Dad, guess what? I got one more the, one more win than you. Not even a good luck tonight. So he likes putting pressure on me. It's kind of a kind of cool being a family affair. You know, year, years with my father, he'd win a race. I'd win a race at Monadnock. And uh, here we are here, my little guy, Monday nights and the big wheel tonight. And, uh, and us with the late model. You know, uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. It's really cool. Yeah, pretty much. Um Something something went wrong with the car about halfway. Um, I, I heard a clunk and started going away from, going away on me. And hell, yeah, it is what it is. We it's part of the part of the thing. We started to get vibrating, so no big deal. We'll just keep keep digging and uh, if keep getting podium finishes like this. We're bound to find, we're bound to end up in victory lane. Um, we're in good company. We keep moving up in the points here and just keep doing what we're doing and we'll we'll get there eventually. Yes, for the most part. Uh, me and Ad have been racing against each other since the, since the mid-2000s uh, between a couple different racetracks, and it's usually a good hard-fought battle each time. We know how to 
nudge each other and move each other without uh, causing too much dismay. So uh, it's always fun. I'm just getting sick of getting passed by him. I got to be passing him here shortly. Yeah, we have to pass a lot of cars. We get stuck on the outside again, like every week. Uh, so it's like, you know, no cautions. We we'll love to caution when we were in third because I think we we're equally as good as Adam. But, you know, so you can't win them all. So a third is awesome. And uh, it's a one piece, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I know. I uh, was not thinking coming in today that we'd uh, get the win, but I'm happy we have got the win today. I mean, it has been rough the last couple weeks. Yeah, I lost it for the first time this season, but hopefully we got a little bit back and hopefully do it again next week. Yeah, I mean, you can hope what you hope for, I guess, but anything can happen, really. Uh, yeah, Tyler Chapman had passed us nice and clean. Uh, congrats to him on that win out there. Uh, I mean, our car just got way too tight, and I mean, I think we started getting a motor issue towards the end, five laps to go. And I just could thank uh, the whole Chassis Pro team, just everybody that's putting me here on this podium in the last four weeks lately. It's been a, a tough uh, season so far. Uh, hopefully we can keep our luck keep uh, on the good side lately and uh, keep going from here. Yeah, we're uh, we're slowly gaining on this. Uh, this car is uh, these cars have really uh, given me a hard time, but uh, we're starting to figure it out a little bit. And uh, I just got to finish the races and not not beat up the car, and we can be there at the end of the year. I think we are. We're like I said, we're, it's a huge learning curve for me, but you know what? third place I think we're third in the points now or fourth in points if we keep on doing this we're gonna be right there at the end of the at the end of the day yeah absolutely um, I mean I don't have to explain the season I'm pretty sure everybody's seen the way it was going but uh can't thank enough I can't say enough for every one of my sponsors that's uh, put up with these horrible finishes we had all year uh, Mark and Mike Payne Eminem Stone Creations Tick Mike 811 call before you dig Cerevolos Auto Race Choice uh, Everybody that helps out and makes this team what it is, uh, you know, we really haven't had a chance to show what we're capable of. Obviously, you know, we've done a lot here over the years, but uh, this place gets tougher and tougher every year to win at. Uh, I mean, these old cars are like, I mean, I know I'm like, I know the back of my hand. I can set them up in my sleep with my eyes closed, but, uh, you know, this thing was awesome tonight, so we're in the right direction. Like I said out there, Rocco's a really good competitor, you know, hard racer, but he'll give you room if you need it, and, uh, we were there tonight, you know, I think he definitely knew that. Um, we were there, just not enough at the end. You know, car freed up a little bit on me coming off, and, you know, that is what it is. But, you know, to run up here with these guys is, is really cool. Um, also, it's my rookie year, so, you know, that's really cool, too, to be doing this my first year. And um, really just got to thank Stephen Kopchip from SKM. Um, Nick from NJK Sunoco, and uh, you know my spotter, big sexy we call him, <laughs> my crew chief, um, my father, and just all these people put the hard work and dedication into my race car week in and week out. It's really a blessing to have all these people by my side, and I literally couldn't do it without any of them. So uh, thank you to Stafford for putting on a great event, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, uh, car was really good up until that caution. Um, I don't think I had anything for Keith. I think we were pretty even. Um, but yeah, once that caution came out, car got a little free on us and uh, just kind of backed up a little bit. But um, those last two laps, car kind of came in and um, kind of pulled away from Ronnie just, just a little bit. But uh, we're right there, you know, a few more uh, minor adjustments, and I think we're a um, real competitor for the win. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, I got a good group of guys behind me, and uh, we'll keep tweaking on it and uh, see if we can get to first place in a couple weeks.